everyone, welcome. Today we're in the A10C on Dire Straits, episode 4. We're taking off from Fujiara on our way to do some armoured convoy, some road, well, basically some road patrols in the Bandar uh, Abbas area. I'm going to probably hang out just to the south of Bandar Abbas. Um, but you can see we're just taking off now. So just push the throttles forward. I'm going to get airborne ahead up there. We are pretty heavily laden. We've got from left to right, two times aim nine mic, uh, six or uh, three times sidewinder, or so, well, so, no, six times sidewinder, two times GBU ten, two times Mark eighty two, yeah, a lot. Oh yeah, and a CBU eighty seven on that side. So it's quite a bit of kit. Uh, I'm going to probably rotate about one forty because we are notably heavy today. I also feel like I'm, my seat position is way too high in this aircraft. Every time I fly here. 40, back pressure in. Come on, rotate. Oh, you can do it. Come on. Please get airborne. Wow, okay, this is a heavy A turn. This ain't climbing. Gear up. Accelerating ground effects. Avoiding the localizer antenna. It's a desert beyond the runway, so we're good. Too struggling as well. We are very, very happy today. This could be a long mission. Um, right. Got a radar looking at us. Probably something from the base? Question mark? Yeah, it's from the base. It's fine. Shut up. Ah, oh, the ship's in the convoy. Yeah. Okay, I've just lost an engine. Okay, wings level. Um. Right, we're accelerating. Why have I just lost an engine? I think I've hit a bird. Right, okay. That's a return to the field. This episode's over, it's over before it started. Um, so, I'm flying in this situation, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to fly over the fly over the base and jettison my weapons along the runway. No, not, long, not along the runway, but alongside it, I should say. And then, yeah, I'm going to jettison my bombs there and then make a, make a recovery. Yeah, look at that, the speed's decaying already. So, altitude, altitude. I know. All right. Yeah, if I'm too. Come on, airplane. Come on. Yeah, I'm losing speed like crazy. I've lost one engine only. Right, I'm just. I'm. Yeah, I'm just stalls. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Pull up. Okay. Yeah, I've got uh, engine fire. Engine fire confirmed. Okay, got so got engine pull fire up, confirmed. The aircraft should now start accelerating. So we'll pull that to discharge fuel. That's the fireball discharge. That's the fire ex fire ex extinguished. Tick. Okay, immediate landing. Full power. Rag this other engine. Get in. Oh well. Um. If I, yeah, I've still got maneuvering flap in, so I'm going to leave that. I'm just going to land fast. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Siren. Engine failure left. Engine fire requires crash crew to attend. This isn't scripted, by the way. Okay. Now oh, look at that. It now it freaking accelerates. I'm gonna try and do a control pass along the runway and jettison, you know, my weapons within the airfield just so we don't endanger anyone. But yeah. Power off. And we'll just, there you go. Almost like I know what I'm doing. Please stop, aeroplane. Please stop. 
I'm not going around with you. Right, emergency brake on. Game, please. Don't do me like that. Oh well, guys. Um, number two is off to go and commit suicide himself. I'm gonna go and figure out what that was all about. Hey guys, so I've just done my little NTSB investigation, um, and I've reviewed the track file, and the engine just bursts into flames. You get a puff, puff, and then it's straight on fire. So that's not me problem. That is a ED problem, um, in the words of <laughs> Cap from the Grim Reapers. So yeah, um, that's a little NTSB investigation. That's what I came up with. But yeah, it's pretty cool actually. You know, if, if this is random failure, yeah, I quite like it. Just a shame because I've had a really cool mission plan there. But yeah, you can see we're just trying to fucking blind and trying to figure out how to turn this thing around. Which and which invariably went of doing two settlements in the area. I was doing my best to avoid doing that because I was conscious that I didn't want to you know, be spewing parts of engines and stuff over in a habit of places. But anyway, I'm going to call it here, folks. So thank you all for watching today. Hopefully, you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button. Subscribe to see more from me. I'm trying to do these military videos on a weekly basis. There may be some destruction in the coming weeks, but that's just not something that, not something we can avoid at the moment. Um, but yeah, it's, I've really enjoyed this one actually. It's shorter than I was planning for it to be, but actually I think it's probably one of the coolest episodes so far. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. See you soon. Bye for now. You can see the engine, sorry, I'm gonna show you as well actually. The engine temp increased, but they were, both engine temps were were quite hot, but they were both exactly the same. So it's just something random that happened. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye for now. Bye.